All righty, guys and gals. What's going on, everybody? It's Big E here with you. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, as you may know, hopefully this isn't a spoiler. I did fail the Gem Master Challenge because I suck, but more so because I changed the rules. I really shouldn't have done that. I decided to change the rules to permadeath, permanent permadeath, like not rolling a dice, uh, a die to delete a gem. Stuart, I don't know why I did that. That was stupid. So a little behind the scenes. So I, after I did that and I died and the way that that episode originally ended, I cut out uh, like five or 10 minutes of me talking to you guys saying, I was going to leave it up to Phono Jam. He was the creator. He is the creator of that challenge. And I said, you know, he would decide our fate, what was going to happen. And then after the video, I sent him uh, a message and he responded. And I got to say, Phono Jam does not fucking play. <laughs> I kind of half expected him to throw me a line. <laughs> Like, you broke my rule set, but so here's a way out, but you have to be punished in some way. Uh, his response was, you die. <laughs> I respect that. I do respect that. I don't know why the fuck I changed the rules. Now, I almost did something really kind of shitty. What I was going to do is not... I was going to... I was going to... um like end that video early and say I had technical difficulties <laughs> and then pretend like I never died and like, and I didn't change the rules, but I realized that I, I would have had to change the very first part of the video. And I was like, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to do it, man. I'm not going to make up some bullshit. I'm stupid. I changed the rules and I got punished. <laughs> not only did I die, stupidly trying to run out of a place but i changed the rules on a rule set that was in place Stuart, i am sorry i should not have done that i feel like a dick for doing it i paid the price i was i felt like we could complete that challenge now that was a long play challenge it, and it would have taken i mean that challenge could have easily taken a year i'm not even exaggerating the reason i say that is because the only time i play characters on the channel is when i record them and especially a hardcore challenge so it could have taken a very very long time but i hate that i fucked it up i really do but now it's time to move on and i have uh so this this was a while ago i put out saying if anybody had a suggestion for challenges to let me know and i got like we got like 12 or 13 of them so that was our third challenge, and I failed it. These are all in a series, by the way. You can find them under the playlist. I think it's linked below. So now what we're going to do. Uh, over here, I have a folder where I've taken these comments and I've put them, I've put them into a folder. Some people had more than one suggestion. For instance, Medlord, Mache, he had two. He had the no damage challenge. Uh, which I failed at level nine, I believe. He also had um, reach 60 without doing a single quest. So wh uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say the name and then I will go over what they are. And I haven't worked out some of these yet. So Medlord is on the list still. Just B has a challenge. Lashal. What's up, Lashal? I don't know if he's still watching. That's my brother in arms out there. What's going on, brother? Can't wait for you to get back. He has a challenge. Tyler has a challenge. Loon has a challenge. Rob of the Red Short Order. Torment has two suggestions. And Duck Lord has a suggestion as well. And if I've missed anybody, I'm sorry. If you submitted something and I didn't call out your name, just let me know in the comments or like, I would say put it in Discord, but I'm so rarely in Discord. Um... Just put it in the comments if you have a, or if you have something that is too long to type in the comments, just say that. Say, how can I contact you? And I'll give you my, um, like my business email address, which is actually on this, on the pay, uh, on this page. 
And we'll do it that way. Like if you don't want to type it out in comments or whatever. So anyway, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I just wrote the names down here. So what we're going to do, I have a 10-sided die. Where is it? 10-sided die right there. Um, we won't count zero. I'm going to roll dice and we'll go one through nine. If I roll zero, I'll just roll over. Now, if we happen to pick somebody who has more than one suggestion, for instance, Captain Kirk, what's up, brother? I hope you're still watching. I don't know if he is. He had three suggestions. Well, he actually had four, but I chose three of the four because one of them, I felt like it might be a little bit too easy, like even for me, but he has three. So if we roll Captain Kirk, what I'll do is I'll roll another dice to determine which one of the three we're going to do. Same thing with Torment. If we get Torment, we will roll dice to pick one of the two. Um, so let's do this. Now, what you're going to see here, I'm going to roll the dice and we'll pick the challenge. Whatever the dice, it corresponds to Windows. I have all of... Oh, I'm so stupid. I don't know why I didn't put these in a list. So I have the comments open. <laughs> Uh, on my desktop over here, and I'll pick whichever one corresponds to the number over here. Um, then I have to cut. I'm going to cut the video, and it might be a full day, but I'm going to have to kind of think about the challenge. And some of these need to be fleshed out a little more. Some of them are complete rules. Some of them I'll, uh, I will mix them up. Now, all of these are going to be permadeath uh, for sure. But so... You know, for instance, if I pick something, one of these, I'm going to have to review it because some of these I haven't read in like six months or so. So I'll read over it and I'll try to come up with a character that I think the class and the race that best will work for it. Instead of sitting in front of the pick, you know, build a character screen and wasting like 30 minutes trying to go through all of it. So we're going to bring the dice cam up right now. Also, what's going on there? What side is that on? It's on this side. Is that better? My lights are a little screwed up. Okay, let's turn on the dice cam. Right up there. 10-sided die. That is the number seven. Can you guys see the number seven? So I'm just going to count over here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tyler. <laughs> that is Tyler's challenge. And... Hold on. I have... Let me pull this other thing up. Let me pull this. This has details. Is this it? Hold on. Let me find it. Congratulations, Tyler. By the way, we are doing these consecutively. I'm, we're going to do these until I have no more challenges, and then I'll be looking for more. So here's... Uh, here's the comment. Right here. This is it right here. So, okay. Oh, I remember this. I remember reading this. This is called... Let me get rid of the dice cam here. This is called the PETA challenge, people for the ethical treatment of animals. <laughs> um, you cannot, so first and foremost, we cannot kill any animal at any time. We cannot use or eat any animal products at any time. So that means we can't wear leather. We can't drink milk, eat cheese, fish, cook with anything. Uh, that's an animal product. We can't wear, this is very interesting, I thought, we can't wear anything that has an animal type of name on it, which is kind of cool, I thought. We cannot have a mount. It's not friendly to, uh, to animals, is it? Uh, we cannot be a hunter, because we, we don't want to tame pets. We must accept and complete any quest that involves helping an animal. <laughs> I like that. This is also very interesting. This is a beautiful challenge, Tyler, by the way. We must challenge to a duel anybody that we see killing an animal. <laughs> doesn't matter if it's a chicken. Doesn't matter if they're on a quest. Now, this is permadeath. So for that duel part, I'm, obviously, we're not counting permadeath. Also, I don't think you really die in a duel. You just go down to one HP, right? So I think that's doable. Along with this, there are also two achievements we have to complete, which is awesome. Now, I've done both of these years ago in retail. I'm pretty sure you can do both of these in Wrath of the Lich King. Classic doesn't have achievements. We have to complete to all the squirrels I've loved before. 
And I'm going to have to refresh myself. I think we just have to love squirrels in every zone on both continents. <laughs> or, well, three continents if it's uh, Wrath. And off, also plethora of pets. Now, when I saw plethora of pets, because I made a note here, I thought this was uh, dueling the pets, but it's not. It's just collecting the pets. Because we love animals, we're a pet lover. Those two achievements. So, Tyler, your challenge has been chosen. And like I said, I'm going to have to think about this a little bit. Um, Really give it some thought. I'll do, like, I'm just going to end the video here, but I just wanted to make the announcement uh, and pick the challenge. Uh, and we, there are some really interesting challenges that we are going to do. Now, let's be real. I'm going to fail all of them. I'm probably going to fail all these challenges. <laughs> I had a little bit of hope on that last one, the Gem Master. I really did. So, as I am no longer allowed to change any fucking rules. If I have a question about a rule or think something can be done differently, what I will do is I will contact that person directly and they have to okay anything I think about changing. Stuart dropped the fucking hammer. <laughs> his response, you die. <laughs> What's his response? <laughs> I feel like I pissed the man off a little bit and it's it's uh, it's it's warranted. I should not have done what I did. Um and so I did a little cinematic at the end of that. But uh anyway, that's that's the next one. Uh and as I complete these, I'm moving them to another folder here. So again, if you did submit something and I didn't call out your name just now, let me know. And like I said, if you don't want to type it all out, just say, Biggie, how do I get in touch with you? And I will give you my uh, contact information. Um, also, if you are new or newer, you know, if you're newer or if you're older or whatever, and you can think of a challenge, like a special challenge, a different way to play the game, I'd love to hear it. I really would. So... Uh, that's it for right now. Well, what will happen is, um, how long have we been recording here? About 13 minutes. I'm going to cut the video in the, in the next part of this video. I will have thought about it and we were going to start the challenge. That's what, uh, what's going to happen. So let's do it. Here we go. So it's the same night. I don't know, maybe an hour later, something, maybe not that long. I've decided we're going to go Druid. Night Elf Druid. It just spoke to me with nature. They're about saving shit. <laughs> uh, I went with the green hair. It speaks nature. Um, And we're going to get it on. I've got my interface set up, I believe. And uh, let's do this. Now, I'm thinking about the, the early quests here. We're not going to be able to do some of these because it involves killing cats and boars. So we have to skip that. Now, there are grells over here. There are imps, which are demons we can do. So this is might be a little tricky in the beginning until we get our balance here. But anyway, I would like you to meet Tyler. Tyler the Druid. Thank you for the submission, Tyler. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm going to fail because I fail all of the challenges, man. But we're going to have fun doing it. That's all that matters. So we start off. I have a lesser heal. Wait a minute. Priest. <laughs> I'm a priest. <laughs> I was going to go druid, but we're well, we're playing a, a, a druid and a priest. I almost went druid. We, we're going to play a priest because priests, they, I don't know. They spoke to me more for some reason. So sorry about all the druid nonsense. <laughs> Whenever I see a night elf, I don't know what it is, but I automatically think of druid. There are just some races that do that to me. So well, let's see what we can do here. But uh, So anyway, that we have lesser heal and we have smite for an attack. Our racial passive, or not passive, but our racial is shadow meld. We'll use this from time to time. 
And that's it. So let's check in. I don't think we can do this. Ishnuala. Yeah, we can't do this quest. It involves killing night sabers and thistle boars. Del Nadris. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> now, what we can do, if we are in an area and we cannot get away from killing animals, we will grind other stuff to try to level up. Let's see what the woodland protector brings. Can I assist you? Seek out the dryad known as Terendrillo. Asha Fela. We'll do that. Let's seek her out. Seek her out, even. Welcome to another viewer suggested and created challenge. One of my longtime viewers and subscribers, Mr. Tyler. What's going on, brother? I've even got the clock. I set the clock color to green for nature. That's right. This is the PETA challenge. Is there trouble? I don't know. Ah, the great outdoors. Okay, so we need to collect fell moss. I'm probably just going to be reading the objectives from time to time. We'll read a quest. Um, So the Gnarl Pine tribe has these. So I am not well, as a priest, uh, this is another reason I chose priest. We cannot wear leather at all. So there's no chance for me to accidentally equip something. Now, I also, we have to be very careful about whatever we equip. Make sure it doesn't have any animal name in it. This is just, it's super interesting to me. So these are demons. So we are allowed to kill demons because demons are not animals. But I do want to key bind a few things. I'm going to try to key bind my abilities as I go here. I know that's crazy, but I'm going to try to do it. As a matter of fact, I might just take this bar off altogether here. In fact, that's what I'm going to do right now. It's bar number six. Let's just disable that. I'll keep bar seven up for food or whatever. So let's go to our key bindings. That is the number nine there. Go to options. We'll go to key bindings and we'll go to uh, way up here. Movement, interface, action bar. Let's set this to middle mouse button. Now something weird happened, man. My, my zoom in was somehow not bound and it took me so long to figure out where to find it. It was it was weird. Probably going to macro that so that it automatically attacks. Now, if we get chased by an animal, obviously we need to run out. Now, it doesn't say anything about damaging an animal. We may do that on accident, but we are not going to kill an animal. No, we are not. Also, these two um, achievements to all the squirrels I've loved before. I need to look that up really quick, and we will. Let me just set up... Uh, I usually put this over here. Let's set up a quick little macro. I could have swore <laughs> I had that on there. Start attack. All right, hopefully I've edited that part out and I'm less embarrassed than I was a second ago. There's level two. One more fell moss. Now, hold on. Did that not... Okay, there it goes. Okay, let's go turn this in. What is nature's call? Hi. Hi. What is nature's call? There we go. Okay, we'll take the gloves. It's not a animal name, and it's cloth. Now, right now, let us look at this achievement right here. Oh, they're they're not unlocked yet. What I think I need to do is love all of the critters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... Actually, do I have a... Do I have a love? 
I could probably set this up. Okay, I don't. We'll just make a new one really quick. Um, I'll just call it love. What I, I think all I have to do is this and then just target. But I do want to change. Hold on. I, we need this to be something beautiful. Do they have hearts? I don't think they have hearts. I never start at the bottom. Look at that. I've never used that one. This is the one we're using. It's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. We'll keep that down here so I can do stuff like this. Make sure it works. I love young night saber. So what I need to start doing immediately is any critters I need to love. They're not like the regular mobs. I remember doing this so long ago. Like rabbit. Love. I love that rabbit. Yes, I do love rabbit. Okay. So we know we can't do that. Let's go see what a good friend is. So there's probably some squirrels running around here. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Find Ivoron by the cave to the Good north. Good luck, friend. All right. We can do that. Now, if I accidentally kill a rabbit or kill any creature, uh, it's over. So I've got to be really careful about any kind of AOE stuff that we do. Yes. Also, I'm going to probably work my way in here. I don't think anything is hostile until you get into the cave. Actually, this is Wrath of the Lich King, which means nothing in here is hostile. Yeah, that 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 was changed. Okay, there's a frog. I see a frog. You know what we need to do to frogs? We need to love them. Oh, it's a toad. I'm sorry. It's a toad. So some of these quests we're just not going to be able to do. We're going to have to move on. Spider is classified as a beast. I'm going to say that's an animal. Right? That's I'm going to have to get I'm going to have to get like a uh I'm going to have to look some of this up. <laughs> Cuz I think technically spiders are arachnids, right? Is that technically an animal? I'm not sure. Because I'm stupid. Can I assist you? <laughs> okay. Till next we meet. Speak to Dorinia Silvershine. May the okay. stars guide you. So we may not be able to do this quest. I might have to look it up real quick because we're going to need an antidote for this guy. And the only way to get that is from spiders. And if we can't kill... The spiders are classified as animals. Hold on. Alexa, is a spider an animal? Yes. Spiders are air-breathing arthropods that have eight legs, chelicerae with fangs generally able to inject venom, and spinnerets that extrude silk. They are the largest order of arachnids and rank seventh in total species diversity among all orders of organisms. Spiders are found worldwide on every continent except for Antarctica, and have become established in nearly every land habitat. All right, we'll just go ahead and make me feel like a complete idiot. They are on every continent except for Antarctica. It's interesting she didn't say uh, the Arctic. Antarctica. Interesting. They are animals. Yeah. Arachnids. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why I didn't. I, what I'm thinking of is the difference between like an insect and, and an arachnid. I think is what I was thinking of. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Yeah, not that you're stupid. <laughs> okay, so we we are not going to be able to do this quest. Which means I'm going to have to do a little bit of grinding on like demons or some other non-animal creature. Because we're going to have to leave the zone. There's going to be nothing else for us to do here. 
Yeah, because in fact, I don't think there is anything else we can do. How may I help? Yeah, if I didn't have to get the ichor here, we could get the mushrooms and the lily pads. Yeah, so we can't do that because that would involve killing an animal. So we are can't do anything else here, which means we're going to grind demons because I don't want to run out here yet because uh, we would get wrecked. So I'm actually we're fortunate that there were demons here. I tried to think about that a little bit about like the starting areas. Human would have been a good one to go with because your kid there's uh other humans to kill. Well, te hold on now. Technically humans are animals. Alexa, are humans animals? Yes. A person or a human being belongs to the Homo sapiens species, which makes a person an animal biologically speaking. Biologically speaking. Okay, now, should we make an exception here? We're going to make an exception here. Technically, humans are animals. <laughs> but we need to be able to play the game. So we're going to say slaughtering humans is fine. So we're going to grind out some demons here. Yes, we are. Why isn't that working now? Now he's not auto-attacking. Oh, I know what it is. I have this backwards. I have the macro backwards. This has to be the other way around. Yeah, this has to go here. Yeah. You have to start the auto-attack first. Otherwise, the, the cast cancels what you're getting ready to do. You think I would know that by now? So, typically when you leave this place, you are level 5. Depending on how many things you kill, you could be level 6. But there is a bread crumb quest right up here. The Dolinar delivery, which we will do. There's a level for us. Also, let me just make sure I'm not wearing anything. Now, this is just stuff we start with, so okay, we're good to go here. I wonder if I could create a mouse over macro. Let's see, maybe using click to where if I was to click on something, or like shift click, it would automatically love the target. Some of you guys could probably just hook that up. Let me know if there's a way to do that. There probably is. I'm not real good with key or macros, not at all keybinds either for that matter. Yeah. I mean, I, I just have to be careful, right? It it can't be a right click, right? Because that that's attack. It has to be uh, left click. Going to be like shift button four or something like that. All right. Well, we got to do some grinding here. By the way, it is permadeath. Like all of the ch all of these challenges we're going to be doing are permadeath. And uh, as I was um, like putting the rules into like a word document and everything, I was looking at I was refreshing myself on some of the other ones that were submitted. We have some really cool creative challenges coming up when when the dice allows us to to do them. Yes, we do. And some of them are going to be damn hard for me to do. There is a no interface challenge, a first person challenge. Basically playing like this. Uh, there's another one where we can't use a map. It's going to be 
might make me actually it might uh, make me better at the game doing some of these challenges we'll see like that's a pretty tall order <laughs> Also, uh, I should have started doing this. Uh, the characters we select for these challenges in the future will be the the viewer name. Yeah, that's how we're going to do that. You just stand here and farm these things all day. They just respawn pretty quick. So I'm trying to think of a place where you might not be able to do any of the quests. Like, Undead is safe because there's zombies. Now, there is a spider killing quest there and bats and wolves. But So the Undead is safe. Human is safe. What about gnomes and dwarves? You have to start with the wolves. No, there's trogs, so you're safe there. What about the Draenei? Yeah, yeah, you have mutated uh, plants. Yeah, you have mutated plants. I think you're... I think you're safe. What about... Torin? Torin, you have humanoids. Um, blood elves. I don't know enough, remember enough about the blood elf area. I'm sure, I'm missing a lot here. I'm trying to think of one that would be, like, really good. Like, hardly any animals. I don't know, though. Yeah, I was, uh, pretty disappointed about the Gem Master. So we, what were we? Level 25? I think we were level 25. We put in a lot of time on it. Yes, we did. And then I screwed it up like an idiot. So we could pick up cooking. I would just have to make sure. Well, wait a minute now. Pretty much everything you start cooking with is an animal product. A egg, meat, and fish. Now, okay, we can make bread. Uh, spring water and mild spices, I think. I think those are the ingredients. We can make bread. That might be tough, though. Can't do any fishing. Fish your animals. First aid is fine. And for the plethora of pets, what I'll probably do with that, I will... That's something I'm going to have to... Like, we're going to have to have a little money uh, if I want to do that, right? Because you can purchase pets. And there's no rules against the auction house. Pretty much anything else goes. We can use the auction house. We can have buffs. All of that good stuff. How I will fail this challenge, and everybody knows it, is I will die. Yeah. That's just what happens. And I was looking at the challenges. It 
to see like, can I, is there one of these that I could potentially do? <laughs> Because they're all permadeath, the answer to that is really no. <laughs> Afraid cloak? Yeah, we'll take that. That's acceptable. Well, that's level three? Oh, it's level four. We don't have to get to level five to run out of here, but I feel like it would be a little bit safer. I mean, we're going to stick to the road and all that, but... Um, let's go sell. Because we can train abilities. And we have... Fortitude, a Lesser Heal, and Shadow Word Pain. These will be helpful for us. Yes, they will. Got the rabbit, and we've got the toad. I don't know what other creatures might be here. We'll keep an eye out. Different places have different things. I'm kind of looking forward to getting this achievement. Uh, oh, the druid trainer is... No, wait, we're a priest. Where is the priest trainer? Oh, right there is the priest trainer. Oh, up. Upstairs. I've never ha played a druid priest before. I mean, a night elf priest. I gotta stop. Let's <laughs> stop saying that. Hello. Hi. Be careful. Ishnu Allah. Um. Yeah, we don't. We sell the jerky. We can't have that. We can eat a healing herb, though. Farewell. Did we make enough to train? One thing. Maybe. I am honored. Oh, the, the, the costs are cheap. Okay, we'll get that. Okay, so I have to make a choice here. Uh, we'll stick with... Um... What do I do here? Do I want the heal or do I want this? We'll do this. I'll get the heal Goddess next time. Watch over you. Thank you, my lady. All right. So... Let's put Fortitude. It's going to go there. And we'll put our dot here. And that'll probably be Shift uh, 3. E-binds. No options. They changed this. Um, they haven't changed it in Classic, but all of this is now the same as Retail, which I, I it, that's okay. So we'll do that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a small bar... Wait, bar to uh, get rid of. If I can find the small bar, that'll work. What I'm going to do here, let's take this down. I'll do three. I want the scale a little bit smaller. I like to put this up here just as quick access to my drink. Like that. Oh, let's actually put that one up there too. There we are. Okay. I'm looking to see if we get anything that unlocks, but it, it doesn't. So, and some of these quests are, they're gated and they open up other quests, but of course we can't do those other quests. So I'll tell you what, let's go out. We can't do anything else here except kill demons. There's a grill right there. There's a demon. We'll make the run to Dolinar. Should be okay. I hope. I hope we're okay. Thirty minutes. Now, the viewer challenges uh, before were coming out every peace. Uh, Monday through Friday. I might change that up a little bit. Uh, and do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because I was having kind of a hard time keeping up. And uh, my viewers and subs know I do work full time. It'll give me just a little bit more breathing room. Um, 
Yeah, I think that opens up at level 10, so... It's possible we might have to backtrack a little bit for some of these creatures. But I don't think it's anything like this. Like, I don't really think it's... It's... Basically, I don't think it's anything that you can tab target. So I could target the owl, but I can't target this rabbit. Critters, basically. Little critters. So we'll keep an eye out for that stuff. There's another rabbit. Ha 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 ha. Now these creatures are hostile, so I gotta be careful. When do we get power word shield? It's coming up at level 6. This guy, we can't do this this thing either because he, he wants us to kill spiders and other stuff. So can't do it. Yeah, man. Night Elf just kind of fits. I think it fits. And priest, uh, just because. It wasn't, I mean, the all we the other option was warrior or rogue. I was thinking about rogue, but rogues wear leather, and I didn't wanna I didn't wanna do that. Let's see what she has. Greetings. Bring the package of rare earth. We can Asha do that. Fella. Troubling breeze. Greetings. Seek out. Chiarellas. Yes, we can do Goodbye. that. Star Breeze, Breeze Village. The Emerald Dreamcatcher. Now, Furl Bogs are humanoid. So we can do that. Whoops. We can do that. Oh, I forgot. I, tra I, uh, I switched something here. I think it was Cynics. Uh, for my PvP stuff, I changed... My turn left and right. I mean, I switch strafe and turn left and right. So I, I hopefully I'm gonna give this a shot. It's a lot better uh, doing that. Peace be with you. Thanks. Farewell. Kill Lord Melanithus. He's in a cave to the north. Uh, I'll pick it up. May the stars. We'll see you. what he is. If I'm not sure of what something is, we'll just scout it out. Good luck, friend. I think it's humanoid. Uh, where can we get down? Can we get down? Oh, God. Can we get down here? All right, let's go turn this in. Yeah, so before, if I hit the A and the D key, it would basically turn my character. Now it just strafes instead. Before, what I would have to do is hold the right mouse button down and then hit the A or D, and it was... So now I can have something targeted in PvP and click buttons. <laughs> That's what that does for me. Thank you for that suggestion. I'm pretty sure it was Cynics. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. Thanks, man. I've never even thought about doing My that. My goods are of the highest quality. Good luck, friend. Choose my reward. We'll take the water. Goddess, watch over you. So I can't eat cheese because cheese is made from milk. And milk comes from cows. So I gotta be careful. I mean, I could choose it. I just can't use it, right? Uh, we'll set a hearthstone What here. brings you here? Alone light your path. Yeah, I gotta be careful there. Sends bidding. Well, I'll tell you what. This is a good place to call this episode. Next episode, we will continue Tyler's journey here. Thank you again for the submission. Going to have a lot of fun with this one. We'll see how far I can go. I don't have the hellos and goodbyes set up on the character yet. But um, when is this coming out? This is probably coming out on a Wednesday. Because that... I think this actually just comes out the day after for you guys. Uh, so it just fell right in line. So... Um, Probably see you again on Friday or until I work out a schedule. But that's it for now. Take care. Peace.